So, now, before the show, uh, I asked you guys to write down your own first world problems, and, uh, and I've got them here. Uh, obviously, I can't read them all out. I've had to forward some of them on to the police. Uh, so... <laughs> yeah, there's some proper nutters in this room. OK, let's have a little look through some of these. If you hear your name, do give yourself uh, a cheer. That's always, uh, that's always good. Um, some people are just horrible as well. That's what I like. Richard, old people being allowed to go to the supermarket on a weekend. You <laughs> <laughs> nasty get. Horrible. <laughs> when my boyfriend has a poo and doesn't clean the toilet, he claims, I'll come back and piss it off later. <laughs> This is a sweet one. When I share chocolate or sweets and people accept, inside it makes me hate them. <laughs> uh, Adam Corner on row H, seat 21. Uh, Adam says, when people squeeze the toothpaste tube from the top. Yes, Adam. Finally, someone dealing with the issues, my friend. Good lad. Uh... Uh, walking into a spider's web and turning into a ninja. <laughs> Is that you? What's your name, my love? What's your name? Stacy. Stacy. Right. You're wandering along. <laughs> Just cos some people don't get it, that's all. Walking along, Stace, and you walk into a spider's web, Stace, and then you turn into a ninja. Let's have a look. One. Yes, Stacy! <laughs> I love it, fair play. Well, this made me laugh. Breastfeeding your child in public and forgetting to put your tip back in. <laughs> <laughs> I love it! Who wrote that? Where are you? Are you on the end there? God bless you. Right, stand up. <laughs> what? No, it's a 15. It's a 15 certificate. We don't want any of that. This is a classy one. Waking up with a random and can't find your knickers. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. I love Liverpool, I really do. I love it. Who wrote that one? <laughs> you, sir. <laughs> love it. That was him in the blue shirt there, saying me. <laughs> Give him his moment, cos that was good timing. Look at me and say me again. Good lad, that's how that works. Fucking <laughs> losing a joke just because he wasn't there in time. Fuck that. <laughs> we all know it happened, that's the main thing. <laughs> Helen G5. <laughs> Helen, I love this. This is brilliant. Only having 20 minutes to get over to Lime Street to buy some wine at Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> Is that what you did in the interval? Well, I'm not paying these prices, I'm off out. I love it, well played. That's legendary, isn't it? Uh, this is uh, Mikey Ferguson on D47. Where are you, Mikey? He's over there. He's over there. That's Mikey in the, in, the, in the red tie there. Mikey says, I look a bit like Michael McIntyre. People get disappointed when it's not him. It's just me. <laughs> just stand up and come out here, my friend. I love it. Come right up here. I want you to come right up. Mikey, just cut right across there. Just come right through. We're going to do... We'll do a McIntyre... Look, he's got... Two and a half thousand people, not bothered. <laughs> Love it. Good lad, have a sit down, mate. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I've done this before. Jen on seat 19, no row. Jen's just seat 19. Jen says, when you're on your phone and you start looking for your phone, but then you realise you're on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find my phone, I don't know where it is. <laughs> I like that one. This person thinks I'm an idiot. 
<laughs> so I've left this one in. When people don't indicate, and then in brackets they put, when driving. <laughs> I know! I know! <laughs> Axel, thanks. <laughs> Oh dear. Siobhan, this is quite a female specific one. This will leave every boat going, I don't know what's happened here. <laughs> the awkward moments when it's silent in the toilets and the girls' toilets and you're wondering who is going to wee first. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're doing? <laughs> Why? What are you doing? <laughs> that was literally a female only laugh there. <laughs> every bloke was going, oh brilliant, just add something else I don't know about them. Nice one. <laughs> What are you doing, just sat there, just like crossing your legs like that? <laughs> tinkle, tinkle. <laughs> we will never get to the bottom of that, we really will. Dave, this made me laugh. Dave said this. This is the most boring one I've ever had, by the way, Dave. <laughs> it's so boring. I nearly didn't put it in, but then at the end, it made me laugh so much. I don't know how you've done it, but Dave's gone through boring <laughs> and then found funny just at the bottom. Amazing. I've lived in the house for 10 years and I still don't know which switch is for what lights on the double switch. <laughs> Why is that funny? I don't know, but... Boring, but brilliant. We've got some posh people in. Give us a cheer for the posh people. Yeah. few people in here are posh. This is the poshest one I've ever had. In 70 shows, this is the poshest one we've had. In fact, if you've had a similar upbringing to me, this first couple of words will be the poshest thing you've ever heard. <laughs> Wait for this. The Tupperware drawer. <laughs> the Tupperware drawer. <laughs> Who do you think you are? <laughs> the Tupperware drawer. The Tupperware drawer is full of 30 lids, but only three ruddy tubs. <laughs> it's a bloody nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> what I like is the difference in the people in this room. We've got a proper posho, Tupperware, and then we sink right to this. When you need a shit just after you've had a shower. <laughs> like... How are those two people at the same show? Unbelievable. When the dog farts and it burns your eyes. <laughs> and this one is the worst one I've ever had. This is horrendous. If you're with your parents, I can only apologise, right? <laughs> this just says the letter T in a kiss. There's no seat number on this, and rightly so. OK, here we go. <laughs> this is horrible. You ready? Well, let's do it democratically. Who wants to hear this, even though I think, personally, it's the most offensive one I've ever had? Do you want to hear it? OK. That's how democracy works. And who doesn't want to hear it? No. OK, just one bloke. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> OK, here we go. Having to take the batteries out of the kids' toys for your vibrator. <laughs> What? <laughs> that is horrendous. <laughs> I showed it to my tour manager going down the way out, right? He actually did this, like a cartoon, he went... <laughs> I said, is that the worst one we've ever had? He went, it is, yeah, but at least it's not the other way around. I was like, oh! <laughs> How have you made that worse? Now, a lot of you wrote this similar one, right? And you'll think, when I'm reading it, you'll think, oh, that's me, but this person added something extra on the end that nobody else did. Sitting on the toilet, having a boo, then you notice there's no toilet roll and you've got no socks on. <laughs> that's right, that, isn't it? That is rank. <laughs> there's people from the world going, I don't know what this show has become. <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. When you wake up and you think your partner's pissed to bed, but he's just a sweaty bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me, who, who wrote that? There'll be a woman sat there like that, dead smug like that. <laughs> I wonder who that could be, Martin, eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
when your wax strip runs out and you've still got another bollock to do. <laughs> oh, horrible. <laughs> oh, dear God. That's Mary from Runcorn, that. <laughs> hey! I might have added that bit. Andy from Liverpool, just on a rant, no commas, full stops, all in capitals, just nothing. He's just happy someone's talking to him, I love it. <laughs> what winds me up is Warburton's bread that won't fit in the toaster, so you've got to turn it around halfway through just to get a decent piece of toast. <laughs> An angry Andy. Fair play to Andy. <laughs> Joanne, my first world problem is people who pick up dog poo in a bag and then hang it up on a tree like a Christmas decoration. 